Hi, my name's Shelton. I've been in Broyhill for about four years now. And before I came to Broyhill, my life was bad. My family always argued. I was always fighting. My grades were bad and everything. And then God sent me to Broyhill. When I first came to Broyhill, I used to scream and yell, and now I usually will talk to somebody about it or just go to my room and chill for a little while. Or play the guitar, that helps too. When Shelton first came into the cottage, respect was a big issue for Shelton. Um, he thought rules for, were for everyone except Shelton. Of course, when Shelton came to us, he was a undisciplined little boy. Uh, he didn't want to listen to Mama and Grandma, and Shelton had his own way of doing things. Well, I was a smart aleck, and I didn't really believe that there should be authority in my life. He was very testy and uh, full of life. He's always been fun. Hey, Shelton. What? What do you call a chicken with no wings? Uh, a uh, wingless chicken? No, food. Ha 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 ha! They're gonna put me in the movies. They're gonna make a big star out of me. We'll make a film about a man that's sad and lonely. And all I gotta do is back naturally. A lot of our kids, when they come into care, they're non-trusting. And it's very, very important to build, and it takes work to build a relationship where those children will accept you to the point they can trust you. And that, that's where we need to really strive to build a good relationship with their children when they come into care because a lot of times they, they've not been cared for. They've not had a relationship with anybody that they could trust. Well, I like Mr. Will because he's just a fun guy to be around. He's kind of a father figure for me, and I can joke around with him. <laughs> and then again, on the other hand, when I do something wrong, he knows how to straighten me out pretty well. How's school in general? Uh, it, it's good. Uh, I have good grades, and not in any trouble. That's wonderful. <laughs> that, that means a whole lot, don't it? Shelton was one that you had to have uh, firm structure, and he had to know it was there every day. Time to rise and shine. Oh, it's not so good to get up so early, is it? Mm. We wake up at 5.30, do chores sure. till 6 o'clock, right. and at 6 o'clock we eat breakfast. And after that, we go and finish our chores until school. Within the last year, year and a half, we've seen a lot of growth in Shelton. Um, he's taken on more of a leadership role. He's got a caring heart, and uh, he wants to be helpful. But uh, it's taken some time to get there for him. The laundry room is my chore. It's what I do in the cottage. I have to fold all the clothes for 10 kids. It could be a hassle sometimes. Uh, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> I think, first of all, it took some strong discipline for Shelton. To, uh, and of course, you can discipline with love and care. He knew we, we loved him, but he knew he had to make a change. And until he decided in his own heart I want to make this change. And it took him a little while to do that, but he, he did it. Once I learned what I was doing wrong and how to fix it, I, learned, I found out that they loved me and they cared for me. And I started behaving and I realized how fun it was here and all the opportunities I could have.
the younger guys kind of look up to me because I'm one of the older guys and it's a responsibility I don't really enjoy but I have to learn to live with because if they see me doing something wrong then they'll think that that's automatically okay and that it's a cool thing to do. So I have to stay on the right road, not just for myself, but for them too. She accepted the Lord, and I'd say that's the biggest, well, I know that's the biggest thing that's helped him when, it, when he let Jesus come into his heart. And, and then when I went to Broy Hill, it was pretty much all about God. And I pretty much felt left out because I was the only one that didn't know God. And my church helped me with that, and I got saved. You know, there was an episode at school, and the teachers had dealt with Shelton, and he was able to go back and apologize and to pick up the pieces and move on. And, and with that one episode, we really felt like, yes, what we're doing has finally clicked with Shelton. I don't know any place that I'd rather be right now than what I'm doing with, with Baptist Children's Homes. Uh, it's just a blessing. And the Baptist folks across the state of North Carolina are making a difference in the lives of these children. Because without this, so many of them would have no hope. That's the rewards that you get, and that's what keeps you going every day, is when you can see a kid's life turn with no hope, no hope for a future, <laughs> to go on and be a, an asset to the community and to really make something with their lives, it's, it's pretty awesome. I think he has a great opportunity right now. And had it not been for the Baptist Children's Homes, this kid would have never had the chance that he's got today. Looking forward to going basketball camp? Yes, ma'am. Oh, good. If I had to say something to all the North Carolina Baptists that help the Baptist Children's Home, it would be to never stop praying and never stop giving so we could always use prayers. And uh, I want to thank you for the prayers that you've already prayed because you don't even know me and look how I've turned out. That all thanks to you.